I'm Sean V, and here's a video clip of Bobby Hemant explaining how to come to the truth if the underlying principle is the same. Tune in. There's so much lies and so much misconception to we'll go, well, nothing is true, all is permitted. And we'll have to sift this down to the least common denominator on what makes the most sense. Now, what do we do as the measurement on how we do this? What you do is you take a principle, an underlining principle, that I don't care what customs you have or what culture or what language you have. If you have a story told around the world and the principle always ends up the same, then that's closer to the truth. Because here it is, how can you have different culture, different language, different people, and a different mythology or a different folklore, but the underlying principle means the same. That's closer to the truth. And that's how you get to the truth. When you can find a synchronicity and a comparativeness throughout the world or throughout centralized customs and cultures where you have the principle underlining is the same. And no other discipline on the earth does this over and over and over again like mythology. And although they'll tell you that mythology is some stuff that you cannot rely on, but yet white people get PhDs in mythology all the time. But it don't supposed to be important. And if you've ever studied mythology, you'll find out you're going up against a science. And I believe, in some cases, it would probably be easier to study mathematical equations than to try to get a, a greater understanding and grasp this mythology. Feel free to comment, like, or share your thoughts on what Bobby Hemmett said in the video. I'm Sean V, and thanks for listening.